Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Um, dear friends, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about um, another problem related to size of. This particular problem uh, has been created to make sure that people understand how to use size of. I have seen uh, many situations where people, uh, students pass wrong arguments to the size of, as well as examples like these also have some sort of a binding on a processor architecture or whether it's a 64 or 32 bit or 16 bit systems. Okay. So if you see this particular example, we have declared a character uh, pointer. So you can read it's a character and it's basically a pointer. So pointer pointing to a character. So in the first instance, we are trying to do a size of C. And uh, so we are interested to know the size of C and then size of asterisk or star C. Okay. So let's uh, pause the video for some time, analyze the code, and then you can also run the code in your system. And then we'll try to validate the answer. I'm going to give you a detailed uh, explanation about uh, the answer that you see here uh, for these two printfs, as well as I'm also going to talk uh, more about how to use in slightly different styles some of this size of, okay? Um, let's get started on the lab side. So at this point of time, uh, I will take one by one. So I will work on one system, which is a, a 64 bit system. Okay. So it's a 64 bit system. So this 64 bit system will have a compiler where it will follow one particular programming model in terms of data sizes actually. Okay. So just remember it's a 64 bit system. Uh, we look into the code uh, program 16. So this is the program. Uh, we are going to now compile and uh, run this code. Okay, so now compilation is successful without any um, warning or errors. We will run the code and then we got the data as um, 8 comma 1. So 8 and 1, right? So here what you can see in this particular example is that you are getting 8 here. So what is C? C is basically a pointer to a character data type. So C is going to store an address of a character location, a location which is going to store the address of a character actually, right okay so this is basically going to store an address and what is a star c so we have to understand when we pass you know values like this correct so what is a star c as all of you know as all of you know here that you know whenever you talk about a pointer so if we have a ptr and then when you say star ptr we are jumping into that location we are going to that location is known as indirection okay so star c is an indirection into that so we are jumping into that location actually okay and we are trying to see what is the size of the data type at that location right so it's basically uh, it's just a character data type so in that location we have a character only so it's like a one byte okay so that is the reason that it gives you a one byte here I have seen a um, uh, lot of students, right? I have interacted with many of you in the past, uh, many of the students, right? Uh, sometimes some of the students, they think a pointer has to be passed like this, which is not correct. Here you are doing indirection. You are not really passing a pointer, right? Size of, of this will never give you the, the pointer size. Okay. Just remember that. Now, as I said, I'm going to add uh, some more variations to this particular um, uh, print app. Okay, so we have to understand there are multiple methods in which uh, we can easily uh, call print apps for size of actually. Okay, so we have print app and then I can say size of a data type itself. So here the data type we are interested in is maybe like a character pointer. So we can just pass this. Okay, so he will know the compiler will know that we are going to get the size or the memory for a character pointer. So that's what the deduction, right? What's the amount of uh, uh, in integer size, you know, what's the size requirement for the argument. So here it's a character pointer. And then here you can write 
CHAR char actually correct so you can either supply the variable name like this or you can explicitly supply the data type data type can be uh, anything right it can be your um, fundamental data types it can be a user defined data type it can also be an array any collection as long as it's a data type as long as it's a variable any variable right it's just fine okay so you can pass so the summary is you can pass uh, either a variable or a data type when i compile here and then when i run the code yeah you will see an answer which is on expected line so this is the pointed this is this is printed because of the variable name okay and this is printed because of the printf associated with the data type directly okay now i usually uh, uh, try to explain uh, it much at a much slower place because i know that some of you who already uh, know this it's uh, easy for you but there are a lot of uh, programmers i have seen in my interaction where you know it's good to explain them you know one by one okay so i think uh, you got it here now one important thing is uh, this i told you this is uh, with respect to a system which is a 64 uh, bit system okay i have other machine with me and that machine is a 32 bit machine so we'll quickly run this same uh, output on a 32 bit system actually okay so here you go uh, this is another machine that i have uh, where it says uh, i686 don't think that it is basically a 64 bit system again it does not say it's a 32 bit system actually okay so i have a slightly older kernel a very popular kernel uh, you know in the earlier days uh, where we had worked a lot and then this kernel uh, i have compiled it on a 32 bit system it's a 32 bit kernel actually okay it's a completely 32 bit system so if i open the same code here code is just same you can see that okay we will run the code and the objective here is to make sure that you know when you talk about size of data types yeah it has a binding on the architecture whether you are working on what kind of processor right it's a basically a 32 bit versus 64 bit world generally nowadays okay so i have compiled it compilation is successful uh, i am running the code now and uh, you 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 see the value now right it is a 4 comma 1 so you got 4 for pointer because on a 32 bit system that i am running the pointer is just 4 bytes right so don't be alarmed if you see some different answers okay so in this assignment uh, i have tried to cover for you basically you know uh, both the machines okay so just remember that um, you are going to have no doubt with respect to how to use size of you can use it either as a variable or as a data type thank you very much and i will see you in another video